Hello and welcome to the Life and Truth podcast. I'm excited to have you here. I can tell you that for sure. Um, if this is the first time of coming on the podcast, I encourage you to go to all of my social media platforms um, at Jonathan Obisi and also my website, jonathanobisi.com, and you'll be able to listen to all the previous episodes. And I so believe it's going to be a blessing to your heart. So, to today's topic, I'm going to be speaking about something very special. And the topic is titled, How One Man Changed the Mind of of God. The question I know that comes to your heart is this, is it possible to change the mind of God? Is it possible to get God to reverse what he has said? Um, And the answer to that question is yes, it is possible. And we're going to be going through some of these things. Um, In life, you realize that you're going to encounter challenges, you're going to encounter problems. Sometimes it may not be you personally, maybe a relative, maybe a parent, maybe a friend, maybe a sibling. And you have situations that sometimes will hit you so hard that you just wish like you can literally just take God and bring God into the situation and turn things around. Today I'm going to be looking at the life of one man who was able to do that and what we can learn you know in our own present time what we can learn from the life of this one man. And this one man I'm talking about is none other person than King Hezekiah. Now I'm going to read a scripture about the story of this man and then we're going to pick some salient points from his life. Now, so in Hezekiah chapter 20 from verse 3, I'm going to be reading from verse 1. Hezekiah chapter, I'm sorry, 2 Kings. Oh my, said Hezekiah. 2 Kings chapter 20 from verse 1. It says there, In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death, and the prophet Isaiah the son of Amos came to him and said unto him, Thus said the Lord, set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Now you must understand that this was a categorical prophecy from God's prophet Isaiah to him, to King Hezekiah at this time. And the prophecy was very clear. The statement was very clear. You will die and you will not live. Now look at what happened in verse 2. Verse 2 now says, And he turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord saying. Now, before we proceed further, let's analyze this. So, the prophet from God, Isaiah, who God, of course, has used mightily. This was, this was, this wasn't, um, you know, just maybe just any type of prophet. This was prophet Isaiah, someone who by, you know, has received a lot of revelation from God and whom God was using, you know, at this time mightily and all of that, came with a word from the Lord to the king and told him, you will die and you will not live. And the Bible did not record King Hezekiah struggling with the prophet. No, the Bible just said in verse 2, immediately said, Then he turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord, saying, Now look at this. It says, I beseech thee, O Lord, remember how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart. And before we go further, there are times in life, there are situations you're going to face in life that if you understand, if you have a relationship with God, at that point in time, you understand that it's not, um, that's not the time for you to either begin to think of maybe a parent, maybe an uncle, maybe an auntie, you know, maybe um, someone who can help you. The only person you know that can step in to help you is God. Now you see from the, we see here from the account of, of King Hezekiah that he understood this. He understood that if God has said it, the same God will reverse it. So he turned his back, his face to the wall. Um, a songwriter wrote a song. He says, my back is against the wall. He said, I have no, no other one to trust. I have no one to run to. My back is against the wall. Literally, my back is against the wall. Because you're going to be faced with situations in life where your own skill, your wisdom, your network, your ability, your riches, your resources would not be able to save you. And this was the king. In spite of all the resources he had, the word of God has come very clearly you will die and you will not live and he knew that if God has said it the only person that can reverse that is God let's continue verse 2 says then he turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord saying I beseech thee O Lord remember now how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart now when we face situations and you face you know doubting situations where the 
strength you have, the resources you have, the networks you have, the, the, the human resources you have are unable to sort of salvage the situation. And you come before God, there are things that would make you get the answers you desire. And King Hezekiah knew this. And that was why when he turned his face to the wall to pray, he said, now remember, O God. Now you must remember the word of God says in the Bible, it says concerning the words of my mouth, remind ye me. Now look at what King Hezekiah I said he said i have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart in truth and with a perfect heart he knew that if you could come to god stating the fact that in his work with god he has been faithful in his work with god he has walked with god in truth when the time of trouble came he could go back to god and say i have walked with you in truth the question to you and to me is this in your own life can you say you're consciously working with god in truth because situations will come when you have to turn to god and say father this situation cannot go and therefore i'm coming to because i know i have been faithful to your word i've been faithful in my work with you now king hezekiah said i've walked before thee in truth and with the perfect heart, and i've done that which is good in thy sight and hezekiah wept so now just before um you know not just long after the prayers now in verse 5 he says and god now told king and um, now told prophet isaiah he says turn again and tell hezekiah the captain of my people thus said the lord the god of david my father i have heard thy prayer i have seen thy tears behold i will heal thee on the third day thou shalt go up unto the house of the lord in summary god reversed his word literally god has said go tell him the same prophet go tell him he will die he will not leave King Hezekiah knew the secret and the secret was, hey, Father, I have lived before you in truth. I have served you in truth, in righteousness. Now this cannot be. And God still told the same prophet and said, go back and tell him, I will heal you and I will give you, you know, I would definitely, you're not going to die. And then I'll give you additional years. Of course, God gave him 15 more years. But there is something you must understand. When you look at the life of King Hezekiah, God had prophesied to David, his father, and I told him that he would not lack someone to sit on the throne of Israel all the days of his life and even beyond you know his generations and all of that at this point in time King Hezekiah did not have a child he did not have a child he did not have a son he did not have a daughter and he knew that God cannot reverse his word amen so when the word of God came to him that he was going to die he knew the promise of God God had promised to his father David he will not lack a child to sit on the throne all the days of his life and to his generations and he knew that if he died there was no way he could get somebody in the line in the lineage of David to sit on the throne so when he went to God in prayers he went with understanding the question to you and to me is this do you know what God has said concerning you do you know what God has said concerning his destiny his purpose his plan for your life when life challenges come when things hit you hard and it seems like you don't have the solution to those problems what is going to salvage the situation is your understanding of God's will for your life your understanding of his will what has he said concerning you if you come to God with his word the Bible says he has exalted his word above his name so it does not matter what anybody prophesies to you somebody comes and say oh I saw you in a dream and this is happening and um, prophecy this there is no prophecy that is higher than the word of God and that's what you must understand the prophecy came but King Hezekiah knew what the word of God has said he knew what was written aforetime he knew that he cannot die at this time he must have a child he knew he was working with God in righteousness and all of that in summary God gave him 15 years he he gave he gave birth to a child and of course the child took after him and the lesson we must learn from that is this as believers as Christians there is the place of walking with God and bringing that walk with God into a place of ensuring that the thing God has said concerning your life becomes fulfilled and materializes prophecies will come dreams will come and um, revelations will come concerning anything concerning your life but if you know the word of God there is no prophecy that can trump the word of God. If you know what God has said concerning you, there is no revelation. There is no prophecy. There is no proclamation by any prophet that can upturn what God has said in his word. So my encouragement to you today is this. The word of God 
is the secret the word of god is the most potent weapon you need to obtain the situations that would defy all human all human skill human and divorce human wisdom human capabilities and all of that if you must obtain victories like the bible says in the book of hebrew it talks about those who by faith they obtained victory shot the mouth of lions had their dead raised back to life if we must obtain victories this word of god must be so deposited in our heart that any statement any prophecy any revelation that goes against the word of god automatically just sort of you know gets you to that point where you begin to regurgitate what god has said concerning you and god cannot deny his word this is how one man changed the mind of god and i trust in your own life too if there are situations where it seems like you know they've completely defiled all the wisdom and all the things all the resources you've put into them if you would follow the the lifestyle if you would follow what hezekiah did here he went before god and said i have walked with you in truth and he knew the the prophecy that was given a full time concerning of course the lineage of david and with that he was able to obtain his miracle he was able to obtain this this is not just miracle he was able to have the prophecy turned around if you would follow this template i can tell you in your life god will show himself mighty and god will show himself so powerful in your life i so believe that this has blessed your heart and i look forward to seeing you on the next episode thank you so much for listening god bless you and bye bye